but wanted to start the session with a few high level questions. The options market has been exponentially growing over the past decades and to a point where options positioning is now directly influencing short term price movements in the market. And this is your wheelhouse at Spot Gamma. So can you uh, explain at a high level how uh, dealer positioning influences market movements, specifically how actions from all of us market participants in the options market ends up obviously uh, influencing dealer experience? exposure and then how does dealer exposure impact uh, that market volatility yeah excellent questions and as uh, you mentioned you know we're really in the forefront here we just came off this event that was heavily influenced by options uh, activity and the way that this works is that every time a call or a put is traded either bought or sold by somebody like me or you or a big hedge fund uh, there's a liquidity provider on the other side of that trade right so there's a, a bank or a market maker that is buying or selling those options that we are trading and in fact the data suggests that 90 plus percent of options are actually traded with the market maker. So what that means, Patrick, is if you're out there buying your Spire calls or whatever it may be, you're probably interacting or buying that from a Citadel or Wolverine or one of those big options market makers. So the options market makers are selling you that call and they need to hedge their position, right? Because obviously if the market goes up, if you're long that call, Patrick, you're making money, that feels great. Mm -hmm. uh, but Citadel or whomever sold you that call is losing money. And so the way that they would hedge themselves is by buying stock. So they buy a certain number of shares. And if the stock uh, continues to go up, they'll buy a couple more shares of stock. And then, uh, you know, on it goes. And that is the transmission mechanism between the call buying or put buying or whatever it may be and the actual uh, link, right, or, or the actual flow that moves the underlying price itself. Now, as you had mentioned, the options market has been continuing, continuing to grow in leaps and bounds. Uh, with the opening of sort of commission-free trading with the uh, likes of Robinhood in 2019 and more recently the zero DTE volume and meme mania. Uh, so the amount of options volume, the amount of calls and puts being bought and sold has increased so much uh, that there's a lot of data that suggests, and we believe this, that a lot of the underlying shares that trade, a very significant portion of those underlying shares are hedging flows that we just uh, mentioned um, hedging flows related to dealers and market makers keeping their risk intact, right? So they're buying tons of shares as the market goes up and selling tons of shares as the market goes down. And that has a major impact on uh, markets as a whole.